Welcome to Concordia. Your life as a cardinal will begin shortly. But before that, we have some steps to make your move super smooth. Please listen to this informational video about what to expect on your move-in day. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the Residence Life staff prior to your arrival on campus. Upon arriving on campus, you will be greeted by a friendly campus safety officer. They will direct you on where to park your vehicle before heading to Central Campus. Corky is pumped to welcome you to campus for your move-in day, but clearly is not an early bird. Once you have parked, proceed by foot to the Central Campus check-in table in front of the chapel. There you will receive a checklist to begin your day. You will need to fill out some forms, visit your financial aid counselor, get your ID card if you need one, and stop by Campus Safety to get your parking permit. If you get confused or have any questions, our friendly staff is here to help. Stop by the Campus Safety Office, which is located in the Student Services Center. You will need a parking pass if you plan to have a car on campus. You'll also need to register your car online before coming to the Campus Safety Office to pick up your parking permit. Visit Financial Aid, which is located in the same building as Campus Safety. Here you can go over your bill with your Financial Aid Counselor and they can answer any questions you may still have. Next, if you will be living on campus this year, head back to your vehicle and move it to either the east or west side of campus. Look for a tent on the way to your residence hall. You will need to check in there before moving in. Our RAs and campus safety officers may be able to assist you along the way. Before you can receive your keys and ID, if you didn't get one in Central Campus, there are a few forms to fill out. Here you will be given a FERPA form, mailbox key contract, and an RCI, which is an inventory of what the room looks like when you arrive. Next, go to your room and make sure everything is working, but you don't need to jump on the bed like Corky to find out. Make sure you fill out both sides of the RCI while you are there to ensure that if something isn't in good condition, it will not be charged against you when you move out. Oh, and try not to break the furniture on your first day. Return back to the tent with your completed RCI and the staff there will give you your keys. Make sure to come back before you start unloading your belongings into your room. This is the best chance to move furniture and decide on a layout with your roommate. We encourage you to set up your room how you want it for the school year before you start unloading. Then you can unload, 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 take all of your belongings into your room. This step may become a little messy, but don't worry, it will be okay as long as it gets organized before school starts. Finally, settle into your room and make sure it is ready for the school year. As you can see, there are different ways to set up your room. If you have questions, talk to an RA and they can assist you in how to bunk, loft, or otherwise assemble your room. We're really thrilled you're coming to Concordia, and we hope that you have a smooth move-in day just like Corky. We are hoping to see you very soon.